Hey, it's Richard Lafferty again. Here I am again this week with another video tip. This week I want to talk about tight trail. But before I do, check out my schools. You can see a link in the bottom here in the description at richlaffertyracing.com. Email me if you have interest in a school. We also offer our own dirt bike line of gloves. You can find them at rlr336.com. Alright, let's get to the video. Tight trail can be very challenging. Front wheel placement is key. Your front wheel needs to be placed to the outside of the rut, like Justin illustrates here, to avoid contact with the tree on the inside. Be always asking yourself, where do I want my front wheel? Tip number two is clutch control. When it's tight, and you're trying to steer the bike around a tight corner or there's a tight tree on the inside, you have to pull the clutch in a little bit. But the key is only pulling the clutch lever in to the engagement point. Most people pull it all the way into their fingers or all the way into the grip. When you do this, you lose forward momentum and you lose sometimes even your balance. This can be very speed limiting when it's tight. And in here, you need all the help you can get. Tip number three, throttle control. In tight conditions, try and be more smooth and consistent on the throttle as much as possible. Less throttle, longer. Being too aggressive on the throttle can cause you to be more hard on the brake and more stop starting, which is also more tiring. It's not the fastest guy, it's the guy who slows down the least. Tip number four, braking control. Control the rear brake pedal like you would control the front by not locking up the rear brake. Rear brake control is maintained by keeping your foot tight to the engine case as a stabilizer guide while applying pressure to the brake pedal. You have to learn where that point is before lockup in your brake pedal. Also, understand that if you're pulling in the clutch lever too far or using a recluse, you'll always lock up the rear wheel when you hit the brake pedal. Also, to help with the rear brake feel, one tip is to double up your brake pedal spring, or as I've lately learned, you can replace it with a stock Honda CRF450 brake pedal spring. This will give your pedal more feel and help your overall brake control. Tip number five, bike setup for tight trail. One thing to be pay close attention to is possibly pushing your forks up in the triple clamp. This can help make your bike turn a little quicker in an upright, tur upright turn when the trail becomes tight. Another question I'm often asked that I wanted to mention was as far as your bar width. My bars are 31 and a quarter inches wide. I cut half an inch off each side and that is the way, what I run throughout the year. I don't cut my bars any shorter for tight trail conditions because in my opinion you lose overall control and leverage over the handlebars. A bonus tip number six to sit or to stand when it becomes tight. It all depends on the situation. If it's more of a straight on upright trail where you're just jostling back and forth between a couple staggered tight trees in my opinion, it's quicker to stand because you can utilize your legs to avoid contact with the tree while maintaining a straight path with your tires. Versus sitting down in the same situation, you have to do a little bit more of a steer, therefore taking a longer path. If it's more turny tight back and forth, sitting down is more beneficial and less tires. Experiment with both ways and I'm sure you'll find the differences. I hope you enjoyed this video and all be safe and have fun. Oops. How come you stand the whole time? Uh, more better. More better? More better. Um, would you do that if it was a waste? Um, probably not. Or yes and no, probably. Depends. A mix, right? Yes. Good answer.